Hello, my name is Chaitanya. I'm the product manager for Oracle Apex. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send emails from your Oracle Apex applications deployed in Oracle Autonomous Database. You should already have an ATP or ADW instance up and running and an Oracle Apex workspace created within it. If you do not have an Oracle Autonomous Database yet and want to try it for free, you can sign up for the free tier at oracle.com slash cloud slash free. Sending email from your Apex application and autonomous database involves four simple steps. First, you generate SMTP credentials for email delivery. Then you create an approved center for email delivery. And then you configure the SMTP parameters in the Apex instance. And finally, you send out a test email using Oracle Apex SQL Workshop. In the first step, you log into OCI console and generate SMTP credentials for email delivery. After signing into Oracle Cloud, navigate to Identity users and click the username for which you need to generate SMTP credentials. Scroll down a bit under resources click SMTP credentials and click generate SMTP credentials. Enter a description and click generate SMTP credentials again. Copy the username and password to your text file because you will be using them later. In the next step, you set up an approved center for email delivery. In the OCI console, navigate to email delivery and click email approved senders. Click create approved sender, enter a valid email address, and then click create approved sender again. You also need to identify the SMTP connection endpoint for email delivery. Under email delivery, click email configuration Copy the SMTP server name and save it to your text file. Okay, you have the SMTP credentials generator and you now want to let the Apex instance know about these parameters. You connect to the autonomous database using a SQL client, for example, SQL Developer Web, and then set the SMTP parameters using the Apex instance admin set parameter. In the syntax, you specify the SMTP connection endpoint and also the SMTP credentials, that is username and password. In the left menu, navigate to the Autonomous Database Instance page. Click the instance name and then click Tools. Then click Open SQL Developer Web. Log into the SQL Developer Web using the username admin and your password. In the SQL worksheet, enter your PLSQL code to set the SMTP parameters. Then click Run Statement. You have set all the required parameters and now finally you want to test sending an email from Apex. You can use the Apex mail package to send emails from Apex on Autonomous Database. In the code, you specify the upload sender email address that you created in OCI, any valid email address for recipient, subject and then body of the message. Navigate to your instance details page. Under tools, click open Apex. Log into your workspace by entering the workspace name, username and then your password. Click SQL Workshop and then SQL commands. Enter the PLSQL code to send email and then click run. And now you can query the Apex mail log view to verify if the email has been successfully delivered or not. Your email has been successfully delivered. You can now navigate your inbox and review your email. In this video, you learn how to send an email from your Apex application deployed on Oracle Autonomous Database. Thank you for watching this video.